Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Now, last night, I had this dream, and in the dream, there was this... Sharon and I were by this lake, and it was kind of dark outside, and I don't know where, where exactly we were located or anything, so the point of the dream is there was this huge serpent-like creature swimming in the water, and it was swimming across the lake, and it was kind of going like that, and it was just swimming across the lake, and I told Sharon, it saw us, and it started to come toward us, and I told Sharon, I said, come on, we got to get out of here, because it's coming to get us, and uh, so we, we took off, and and then we made it back to this house, where we were, and there was other people there, and I stayed outside, and this serpent came, and then I noticed it looked like the place where I grew up, at the end of the street, and that serpent got this man out of a car. There was a car there, and the serpent got the guy and cut off the top of his head. And hit, I saw it, and I saw that. And then his head, the top of his head, hit the ground. You could see the hair on top of his head on the ground. Just it was like he made a quick cut like that. Just it was gone, and and then he reached, started to reach into his chest cavity, and and then I just turned away. I couldn't watch any more of that, and. And so, then I went in the house, and I think he killed another guy too, that serpent did. But then I went in the house, and I remember telling somebody, I need a gun so I can kill that stupid serpent. And, and so, this person brought me a gun, and it was about a foot tall, it was a huge gun. And it was solid white. And it was shiny. And it only held two bullets. And the bullets, I, I, I imagine the bullets were probably about a 70 caliber. It was a huge bullet. I mean, it was probably that long and just, I mean, it was huge. And and so I remember thinking, okay, I've got this gun now. I'm ready for that stupid serpent to come back. And then I woke up, you know. Because, see, the devil is a serpent. He's a leviathan. And so I was talking to our brother Willem this morning and, and he gave me this verse. He reminded me of this verse in uh, Isaiah 27. I'm going to read this. In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan the crooked serpent. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Hallelujah. God keeps His people night and day. Now, in that day, the Lord with His sword and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. And He shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Now, that, that stinking serpent is a prideful spirit. That's what it is. And it's operating in the people of God today all over the earth. Many of God's people, especially in the Western nations, I would say, they think they know everything. And there's nothing else to learn from God. They have it all figured out. But God says that's a spirit of pride. And God's going to break down and crush that Leviathan spirit in the body of Christ. He's going to crush it to there's just nothing left of it. Hallelujah. And God knows how to do it. He's a thorough workman. He's thorough. He, he goes through and he cleans. When he cleans, he cleans all the way through. Hallelujah. And, and the thing he uses to clean is the precious blood of Jesus and the Holy Word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In that day. What day, Lord? What day is that? Well, you got to back up a chapter to chapter 26. In that day. Oh, wait a minute. you got to back up the chapter. Chapter 25. All these are going together. This is all one context. In Isaiah. In chapter 25, God is delivering his people. And then in chapter 26, in that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. Hallelujah. We have a strong city and salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Salvation. Salvation is a person, the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Hallelujah. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. The righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. We are that righteous nation today, saints. We're keeping the truth. Hallelujah. We love the Lord with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. 
And we love our neighbor as ourselves. And where we slip, where we fail, we, we cry out for repentance. We say, oh God, help us. Help us. Hallelujah. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Because we trust in the Lord, he keeps us in perfect peace. Hallelujah. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord, Jehovah is everlasting strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is the day God's talking about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 5. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city, he layeth it low. He layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. Now God told Jeremiah, He said, This day have I made you a defense city. Okay? A defense city. God likens His people to cities. But a lot of God's people are filled with pride, like I said. A lot of pride. I don't need the Bible. I don't need the Scripture. If you're reading the Scripture, you don't even know the Holy Spirit. Lying people. They're lying. They're lying. They have a spirit of pride, Leviathan, arrogance, spirit of jealousy. They hate the Word of God, spirit of hatred. I cannot even imagine the apostles hating the Scriptures. I cannot even imagine them saying they don't need the Scriptures. Sure, the Holy Spirit spoke to them. Amen. He speaks to me all the time. He speaks to God, to His children. The Holy Spirit does. But see, He always takes us back to the Word. He never violates the principles of the Word of God laid down from Genesis to Revelation. So if there's a violation taking place in your life or in someone else's life or these people that are bashing the Bible, the Holy Spirit won't tell you not to read the Bible. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's not the Holy Ghost. He will expound upon the Word. Hallelujah. And then these false prophets out there, these false dreamers, they'll, they'll dream things that, are, that, that, are, that sound so beautiful or so awesome or whatever, and people are just flocking to that, loving that. And these false prophets, they prophesy destruction. They prophesy this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're acting like they're getting something new from the Holy Spirit. And what it is, it's the spirit of vanity. Because it's already written down in the Bible. In Jeremiah 25, what God's going to do to the nations. Okay? In Isaiah chapter 2, in, in Isaiah 13 and 14, you can read what's going to happen to Babylon. So all this other stuff is just a bunch of vanity. It's a vain trip that people are on. And I caution you, you better watch out for these people. They'll lead you down a road you don't want to go down. It's a road of deception. It's a road of believing lies. It's a road to keep you focused on the world and the things of the world, not the Holy Scripture, not the things that, that are true. The Lord Jesus Christ at the Father's right hand today. Now I'm going to read two more verses. Or three, or ten, or twenty. Hallelujah. Verse 12 of chapter 26. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. God does the works in us, saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's get down to verse 20. And it says, God is talking. Excuse me, let, let me, let me go up to, to verse 19. Thy dead men shall live, together with my dead body shall they arise. There's the resurrection in the Old Testament. Awake and sing ye that dwell in dust. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Hallelujah. Come, my people. God says, Come, my people. Enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. See, our habitation as saints of God is supposed to be heaven, not earth. We're not supposed to be like the world. Hallelujah. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, for their iniquity, for their I will, for their I will do it. I will do it. I don't need the scripture. I don't need the Bible. I don't need this. I don't. I don't need anything that God wants to show me in the Bible. 
Or they'll they'll read the Bible through a couple of times and they think, well, I don't need to read that anymore. And that's a spirit of pride. That is Leviathan. That is arrogance. And that is wickedness in the sight of God. Man is a wicked being without Jesus. And, and some people that do have a, a born again experience that are born anew from heaven have been deceived. You've been deceived, sir, ma'am, some of you. You need to repent. You need to repent of your sin. Hallelujah. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Verse chapter 27, verse 1. In that day, in that day. We're in that day. We're coming to that day. We're, we're in the day. Hallelujah. God is doing a work. He's crushing this Leviathan. We can feel it in the spirit. The battle is raging in the heavenlies. And our God, the mighty God, the man of war, the Lord Jesus Christ, is manifesting more and more his destruction, his crushing of this Leviathan religious spirit, economic spirit, and political spirit in the earth. It's an unholy trinity. It's fallen man trying to be God, thinking they can make their own way. And it's God's crushing it all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword. Look at that. He's got a sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent. Even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Hallelujah. Be encouraged and stay in the Word and study. And do not do not ever stop reading the Holy Scripture. And if the spirit of confusion comes on you, if, if you say, well, I'm going to go read the Bible for an hour, and the phone starts ringing and all this stuff starts happening, that's the enemy trying to just come in and, and, and put a confusion on you. Turn the ringer off on your phone. Just, just get with the Lord. Study the Word to show yourself the proof of a workman rightly dividing the Word of Truth. And let the Lord bless you. The Holy Spirit wants to speak to His children today. He wants to show us great and mighty things. And when we bring forth the word of truth right here from this house, I'm telling you, it's crushing the devil's head. And we know it. Hallelujah. And we're going to keep on doing it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.